same message that I give the players that want to go into coaching. You ain't Dion. The same message that I would give to dads with sons who are top picks. You ain't Dion. And the same message to players whose daddies want to take the same approach. Your daddy ain't Dion. Welcome to the future of Colorado football. Yo, what's poppin', people? Your boy Snacks is back in the building with another banger. You know how we do. Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and go ahead and leave your comments down in the comment section as I try to get over this head cold and y'all hear it in my voice. This cold is kicking my butt. I've been bad all weekend. I've been down bad, man. And I'm still feeling it a little bit. But. We're going to jump into this Shannon Sharp because he don't agree with what Dion had to say. Now, last night on Nightcap, he didn't drop this knowledge that he wasn't feeling this kind of way. So, I guess he was saving it for first take. But Hulk told y'all, y'all saw Hulk in the jump. Y'all ain't Dion. You ain't prime and your daddy ain't prime. So, don't try to be prime and don't try to do what prime do. But let's check out what Hulk, RG3, and Unk got to say about it. Because Unk ain't feeling it. Unk don't think it's going to work. But, you know, Shannon, he always trying to go off the rails on something. But sometimes he right. But we don't know about this one. We got to let this one play all the way out. But let's hear what they got. Predict. Shador and Travis going in the draft. Top four. Mm, that's pretty beautiful. Anywhere from one through four. One of them is going to be one. The latter one would not go behind four. Now. All this is subjective because I know I want them to go. So in certain cities that ain't, ain't gonna happen. It's gonna okay, be a you want point? It's gonna be a, it's not a, I'm sorry, it's gonna be an Eli. As you can see, Dion's got a new book out, Elevate and Dominate. All right, Robert, you're up first. Do you like these comments by Dion? Molly, I absolutely love them. And, and you heard Dion say it's subjective because of the cities. I also think it's subjective based off of how Shadur Sanders and Travis Hunter play. He has no doubt in his mind, and I don't blame him that these two guys are going to go out and have a successful year this upcoming season, but I'm seeing the power shift happen right before our very eyes, and I absolutely love it. And I want people to buckle up, because what you see in college football is these coaches running to the NFL because they hate the power dynamic that's going on in college football right now with NIL and player empowerment. Well, that's coming to the NFL. And not every single player is going to be able to pull off something like that every single year. But if Shadur Sanders and Travis Hunter go out there and play the way that they're capable of, it certainly can. And I think that people have to realize that players now know they can control their own narratives. They can be in the media while they're playing. And they don't have to go with the status quo. Caleb Williams goes to the combine, doesn't do anything, doesn't let the doctors touch him, only does meetings. Marvin Harrison Jr., doesn't even go to the combine, doesn't do a pro day, doesn't run a 40. These guys are taking control of where they want to go. And some of them, a select few, can tell NFL teams, I don't want to play there, and they'll be right. It doesn't mean that they're not accepting the privilege that it is to play in the NFL. But Shannon, you know this, and Hawk as well. That privilege is earned, and players are now seeing that they have more power than they probably had in the past, and I'm all for it. My advice would be not to follow a blueprint that you don't have the tools for. We're talking about Deion Sanders. So my message to anybody that's hearing this is the same message that I give the other Division I coaches in recruiting. You ain't Deion. The same message that I give the players that want to go into coaching. You ain't Dion. The same message that I would give to dads with sons who are top picks. You ain't Dion. And the same message to players whose daddies want to take the same approach. Your daddy ain't Dion. Dion Sanders is a one of one. <laughs> so, yes, he probably has this kind of leverage because he's had 40 years of being the man as a player, as a coach, a media member, uh, a mentor, you name it, in NFL circles. Everybody else, you got to earn this kind of leverage. Even in the NBA, when you watch players bounce around from team to team, they don't get there until they've earned that right. And then in football, if you're going to undo a whole draft system that everybody else subscribes to and all the top players still go through, you better have the leverage to do so. Otherwise, it's probably not going to go for you the way that you think it is. Yeah. Um, 
I'm not surprised that Time said this. I kind of know him. I know him a little better than probably you guys, so I'm really not surprised that he said this. Do I like it? No. I didn't like it when Eli did it, uh, and I don't like it now. And like you said, RG3, it is a privilege to play in the NFL, and I was just like, let 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 whatever is going to happen, let it happen. Um, and I and I and I get what what he's saying. He's like, look, everybody, every coaching system, every quarterback, coach, offensive coordinator is not equipped because I want to set myself my son up for the most success possible. I want to put Travis Hunter in the best position possible. I promised his mom, or I promised who his caretaker was, that I was going to look out for this young man. And I'm going to fulfill my obligation, not only while he's at uh, uh, Jackson State, not only when he's at CU Boulder, but going into the NFL. And then I'm going to watch him until the end of time because that's what I promised you I would do. I'm going to treat him just like my son. He lived with me. I'm, he's my son now. And with Shador. But for me, man, I just, uh, I just like, I understand. There is a guy, both of you guys are right. There's a new power dynamic. And we're yep. seeing players, we're seeing uh, handlers, mm -hmm. in this case, that's his son, take more mm -hmm. ownership. Yep. Place him, well, we're not going to do this. Like you said, for, if somebody would have told me we're going to get to a point that a player is not going to even go to the combine and not have a pro day, and it not negatively, negatively impact him, I would have never believed it, RG3. I, I would have man, you out your damn mind. Ain't no way. <laughs> you not going to go to the combine? Okay, you don't go to the combine. Well, I'm, and we've seen guys not do things at the combine, but have a pro day and show out. He's like, I ain't doing none of that. Watch but, the tape. But, Shannon, real <laughs> quick, to, to, Hawk, to Hawk's point, even when you look at Eli Manning, right, when he yeah. came out, obviously yes. he's Archie Manning's son. And he's hey, Peyton Manning's Peyton. Eli. Yeah, uh, yeah it's yeah. Peyton Manning's his big brother. So it's a different yeah. deal. It he's is. saying it is. to Hawk's point with Deion Sanders. So you uh -huh. really think players like a Caleb Williams, they can pull this off? Oh, Caleb Williams, I mean, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. You have a lot more leverage when you're the number one pick than, say, you're the 17th pick or you're the 21st. Hell, once you start getting past probably out of the top five, you're just happy to go anywhere. But when you're the number one pick, you, you weld a lot of power. Now, everybody doesn't use the power. Some people are just like, hey, my lifelong dream was to play in the NFL and I got an opportunity to be the number one overall draft pick. I'll right. go anywhere. Send me to Antarctica, the moon. Hell, as a matter of fact, <laughs> I'll play three years in hell if I'm going to be the number one overall pick. But yep. Prime is saying, no, it's not so much how high I go, it's where I go that determines the success level. People think, it's, well, he went number one, he did, he went number two. But if you yep. don't go to the right Now, Shannon takes a different approach this morning on first take. But it's his opinion, and he don't think it can work. He says it can work, but then again, he's unsure. But then again, <clears throat> we're in that realm that this is prime. This ain't everybody else. This is prime, and he get to do things a little different than what everybody else do. He got the little moxie. He got the rep. And long as Shador and Travis and Shallow play to the manner which we know they can, They'll be able to do pretty much what they want to do, just like Eli and them did. They'll be able to do pretty much and go pretty much anywhere they want in that top pick. As long as you're in the top five, you pretty much got say. But nobody's ever used it. Pretty much John Elway, Eli, and a couple of other people. But we'll see how it turns out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts and comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you haven't done it already. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the support, and we out. Peace. Thank you. God bless you all, man. Be safe.